Dear students, hope all of you are well and good. In this video, some aspects of active methylene compounds will be discussed. And active methylene compound will be discussed in three parts. And in this part one, we are going to discuss number one, what is active methylene groups. Number two, examples of active methylene compounds. Number 3, acidity of CH bond in methylene group. Number 4, alkylation reaction. Number 5, ketonic hydrolysis reaction. And number 6, acid hydrolysis reaction. First one is, what is active methylene groups? In active methylene group is a compound where a methylene group is directly bonded with two electron withdrawing groups. This electron withdrawing group may be COCH3, COOC2, H5, any carbonyl groups or it may be cyanide or any electron withdrawing groups. Now, if these electron withdrawing groups are COCH3, COOC2, H5, then it will be ethyl acetoacetate. Then this is active methylene CH2 group and COOC2, H5, COOC2, H5, then it is diethyl melonate. And next, if this active methylene group have CN group and COOC2H5, then it is cyanoacetic ester. Since the CH2 group is attached to two electron withdrawing groups, so this CH2 group is highly acidic and reactive. Now, the acidity of CH bond in ethyl acetoacetate can be explained from two factors one is inductive effect and one is resonance effect so this ch2 this carbon hydrogen bond is highly acidic because after losing this proton it can form a carbon ion which is quite stable now from inductive effect if we see the CH2 group is attached with two electron withdrawing species because these electrons are withdrawn by highly polar CO bone. So after losing this proton, this carbon ion is highly stabilized by this inductive effect. Secondly, the negative charge of this carbon ion is delocalized in the two carbonyl groups through resonance like here one resonating structure and this is the second resonating structure and this is the resonance hybrid. So this carbon ion is highly stable through inductive effect and resonance and hence the proton can be easily lost. So from this we can explain the acidity of this hydrogen of CH2 groups. Then next is salt formation. So due to this acidity of the CH group, in presence of base, this ethyl acetoacetate can easily form a salt by losing this proton, this hydrogen as proton. So this salt is known as sodium ethyl acetoacetate. Next is ketonic hydrolysis. When ethyl acetoacetate is treated with dilute HCl, then acetoacetic acid is formed and this acetoacetic acid losses carbon dioxide when heated to form a acetone and this reaction is known as ketonic hydrolysis since the product is a ketone in acid hydrolysis the product is acetic acid how when ethyl acetoacetate is treated with concentrated sodium hydroxide followed by acid reaction the product is acetic acid and in this now here the product is acetic acid so the reaction is acid hydrolysis both are hydrolysis reaction so in the first case hydrolysis of ethyl acetoacetate in presence of dilute acid, acid result ketone so this is ketonic hydrolysis and hydrolysis of ethyl acetoacetate in presence of sodium hydroxide followed by acidification with dilute acid it is a acetic acid so it is acidic hydrolysis So all the reactions discussed here are based on the acidity of this active methylene compound. 
that's all for today thank you